Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 28.5 of my Let's Play of Monmus Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. This is an alias aside. We're going through a sub-quest we can't do in Alice mode because we didn't recruit Ili Lucia in Alice mode, we recruited Lily instead. So Lucia has her quest going to all the fairy locations and aligning herself with the natural energy she finds there. There should be a translation of this. It's still in the Catalyst chapter. But I didn't do it in my Let's Play and now it matters, so I guess I'll do it. In any case, this is a land where the spirits of the fairies of wind gather. Hmm. Yes, she feels circulating around her, the natural energy. This will take a little time, so... In any case, she needs to get a, gather some observ observational data. That's alright, but what's this observation you're going to be doing? I have an automatic measuring machina prepared. And it doesn't just receive signals, it also can introduce interference. Ooh, my ahoge is all wobbly. Hmm. So it's already made a connection with the target. So let's increase the interference. Strengthening interference waves. Double, quadruple, octuple, peaky, peaky peaky. That's the kind of sound you might hear if your blood pressure were getting so high that your veins were popping. Peaky, 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 peaky. Hmm, the power of wind is increasing. So, what kind of reaction will come back to us here? Chee-pa-pa, chee-pa-pa, atama no ana wa chee-pa-pa. Chee-pa-pa, chee-pa-pa, ohi-sama guru-guru chee-pa-pa. Shelf's been broken! Hmm, this could be an, an important key. I better record this song. But it strangely gets stuck in your ears. So Lucia gets the Chi Papa song. Eh? Yeah, what was I just doing? My head's all kind of funnily empty. It's all right. It was funnily empty to begin with. But we need more detailed data gathered. And the next one will be the Earth Spirit. No. Let's head to Safra Desert Ruins. Piggy piggy. She's still making some weird electric kind of noises there, isn't she? No. Oh. I also have Gigi along for the ride. If you have both Lucia and Gigi in your party, it's actually a bit more convenient. Um, next. Yes. The Desert Ruins. So, this is a land where the power of the Earth fairies gathers. Mm-hmm. Yep, in this area as well. There's circulating natural energy. Alright, just live, give me a little time here. I need to record more observational data. Again with that observational machina. It's alright. So, let's begin observations. Hmm, so there's a reaction already. So let's increase the inf interference waves. Heightening, double, quadruple, octuple. And gnome's a very stoic sort. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Hmm, that's odd. This reaction is... 
Peeky, peeky. But the interference caused a large scale release of Earth energy. This may be useful in my magic research. So she learns Breath of the Earth. Hmm, there are still so many s mysteries regarding the fairies. I need to gather more data. Next up is the Earth Water Fairy, Undine. So, next up, Bari Papa. Uh, Sylph is getting weirder and weirder as this goes on. Yeah, it's Sylph. It'll be fine. So, again with Gigi's. Hmm, that's right. Undine, outside of Esta. This one, no, that one's Gigi's. This one's Lucia. So this is a place where the power of water fairies gathers. Water spirits. In any case, in this tranquility, she can feel a deep natural energy. All right, this will take a little time. I want to gather some data. Again with the observation machine. Is it really alright? It seems like Sylph is getting broken by this. No, it'll be alright. So, I'm starting observations. Hmm, it's made contact with the target. So then, I'm going to introduce interference waves and increasing amplitude. Double, quadruple, octuple. Mmm, Undine is pretty stoic as well. Peeky peeky. Chi chi. Chi 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 <laughs> And what the hell is this? Glurgle glurgle barble barble. That's what we keep you around for, Sylph. So, this induced phenomena from the water on quite a large scale. Hmm. This phenomenal should come in handy as well. You know, you really are overconfident in the power of science here. If you continue this way, your body might be destroyed by it. Hmm. How about you? Aren't you overconfident in the power of science as well? In any case, science is a methodology. It's not power itself at all. Rari-papa. So, the effect waves can cause these natural phenomena. Hmm. This is more than my previous speculations. And if we had taken into account the wind and earth effects we found. Oh. So now she can learn the use of natural effects, which is a whole class of skills. And she learns a few simple skills for it. Next up, the flame spirit, Salamander. So let's go to the gold volcano. So once we've observed that elemental as well, that'll be the end of it. Probably we'll be able to unravel the secrets of natural energy. How nice! I wonder if Sylph is really going to be okay. Okay. Gold volcano means gold port.
This one? No, that one's Gigi again. All right, the power of the spirit fl of the power of the spirits of flames are gathering here. I feel an a hot energy, natural energy, or I should say, it's hot in here. Are you gonna do it again? What fun! What fun! Hmm. Once this final experiment is is complete, my body might not be okay. I can't guarantee it. If I don't do this well, this body could be could end up disappearing entirely. Hey, this is just observation, isn't it? You aren't going to be going into any kind of dangerous experiments. Well, in order to make oneself one with the elements, this experiment is our final destination. All the observations we've made up to this point were preparation for it. Yeah. It looks like it's, it'll be no use to try to stop you. So, until you're done, I guess we'll watch over you. Before that, I want to give you guys something. This is what I decided to keep secret. Lily's research. So, Lily's research results. Again, this is how you get the ability to transform humans into worm summoners when you recruited Lucia instead of Lily. Hmm. Such a dangerous thing. Of course I need to take care of it. Aside from the people in our party, we're not going to use it on anyone else. It's forbidden. Hmm. So, humans can change into that, huh? I'm not really interested. How about you, Sonia? Tentacle summoning, huh? I resist it on a certain level, but I'd kind of like to try it as well. <laughs> How nice, Sonia. So, let's start the observations of the fire elementals. Ah, what's this, this feeling? My, fa my body. What are you getting all sexual aroused for, you fire lizard? Alright, we've made contact with the target. So, let's start introducing interference waves. No, no! Strengthening interference waves, etc., etc. Piggy, piggy. No, it's no good. I can't take it. Kiawa! <laughs> now, sage mode is what this is called. Hmm, that's a... That's a figure of speech in Japan. Sage mode is when you're done having sex and you have this calm feeling come over you. Yeah, that's what Salamander's in, according to Undine. Oh, uh, Sylph, you okay? Anyway, Lucia learns Fire Pillar. So, we finished gathering data on the four elementals. But that wasn't our objective. All preparations are complete. So, let's begin the experiment. The research that Lily and I did were changes in the magical composition of human bodies. So, if we can move human bodies into the direction of elementals, within my body, I'm going to breathe elemental in and... Wham! The research was a, su was a success. Although I retain my human form, I've become a natural phenomenon. So my body now is extremely close to being a fairy. In other words, I 
although I seem this way, have been reborn as a fairy. Oh, good for you, Lucia. So in other words, we can take her to the race-changing place and change her into a fairy if we want. Hmm, that's pretty impressive. Huh, to be able to change into a fairy. What bizarre research. So then, once again. Me, having been reborn. It is a pleasure to be working with you. Alright, pleasure working with you too. Chee papa. Did you say something? Mm, no, nothing. Piggy piggy. Yeah, there we go. Because it's self, it'll probably be alright. Uh, let's see, Ninji next. This is explaining about turning slimes into beasts. Here. By the way, lately, Lucia and I have been engaged in collaborative research. We're looking into the fairy transformation she was able to do and seeing if it can't be generalized to others. We succeed. I succeeded in the experiment to change my body into an elemental. Perhaps other races could have an effect of similar type. And as a result of our research, we think we'd like to try it on mermaids. Mermaids have a natural affinity towards the elements. So, if we had an individual who is deeply connected with natural energies. Yeah, someone who's already good with elements. And a mermaid that's already succeeded at getting good with the elements. We'd like to do a fairyization research experiment on her. But, uh, I just remembered an urgent matter I had to attend to, so I'm going to be going. Ah, she's running away. Let's get her, Lucia. <laughs> Won't let you get away. With the tentacles and everything. Noah, let me go. Please, be a sacrifice for the sake of our research. Come on, come on. Give me your arm. Science requires even more sacrifices than religion does, you know. Be honored, and be moved, and be our research subject. Stop it. Okay, so. Promestine and Lucia inject Gigi with some mysterious X. Gee, papa. It's a success. We did it. So, Gigi became a fairy. So, with this success, we can change mermaids into fairies. Of course, in order to do that, they'll have to have their mermaid at rank 10. So, what's this? What kind of X is this called? Hmm, um, it's Catfish X, of course. Little by little, the naming is getting more sad. All right, so let's con let's continue to continue our research. Now, of course, I'll be helping out. There's no end to the pursuit of knowledge. Chee papa, chee papa. Yep, that was the thing that happened. You know, it's surprising I actually d ended up figuring that out. I expected, rather, that I'd just be doing Lucia and warping over here to the shrine. But I got a comment from Gwaltzilla, and he wanted to find out how to do the... Well, he got Lucia himself and was having trouble figuring out how to get the 
promising vampireization of Luca to do. And I couldn't figure it out e for him either until I went and looked it up on the Japanese wiki. And while reading it, I learned about this more or less secret transformation of mermaids into fairies. They don't actually tell you you can do that at any point. It's just if you fulfill the requirements and talk to Promestine, it happens. So I never really hints at anything you need to do. So I would have completely passed it by for lack of a hint. If not for doing research in Qualtzilla's little problem. So, if anybody wants to thank anybody, thank somebody for the fact that it got into this Let's Play, go ahead and thank Qualtzilla. In any case, oh, did I save? No, I didn't. So, thanks for watching, and next time we're going into the Shrine of the Rock. <laughs>